Why did you do it, Chick-fil-A? Why did you bend the knee to people who are still going to war with you? It's so funny. Chick-fil-A, a a sandwich shop. I don't care who they donate to. What was really funny was that for the longest time, Chick-fil-A has donated to a few organizations that were Christian, like the Salvation Army. The left protested them, saying they were bigots. Well, eventually, Chick-fil-A bent the knee, bowing down. Please don't, please don't protest me anymore. Aw, poor babies, Chick-fil-A. You know what? I honestly don't care. I really don't. It was funny for me to see then conservatives, I think it was like Charlie Kirk, Chick-fil-A has betrayed us. I don't care. It's a sandwich restaurant. I don't care who they donate to. I'll tell you what I do care about. They bent the knee to the outrage mob. And guess what? Do you think the outrage mob, the leftists have come out and said, now that you've done the right thing, we're going to pull back and just be totally cool with you? Of course not. Of course not. First of all, After Chick-fil-A, the CEO now says he regrets discrediting faith-based organization. After he came out and said, we're not going to donate to them for a variety of reasons, the Salvation Army was like, what? what, We just, we help the homeless, man. What are you doing? What did the the leftists do? They said, good. Now we demand you actually donate to our organizations. There you go, Chick-fil-A. There was nothing you could have done. Here's my favorite part. Here's the news from today. Lawsuit against San Antonio for banning Chick-fil-A at airport moving forward. Oh, what was that? Chick-fil-A was banned from airport. Did, did the airport say, now that you've done the right thing, we're going to let you open your shop? Nope. No, of course not. You earned nothing but the ire of those who once supported you. Now I'll say this. If you're a conservative who's really mad at Chick-fil-A because they stopped donating, come on, man. Have some standards. All right. We all complained. No, no, hold on, hold on. You know, don't get angry yet. We all complained about the left targeting Chick-fil-A. If you are someone who was defending Chick-fil-A and demanding they do continue donating for these reasons, and then they turn their back on you, you're allowed to be mad. I accept that. What I mean to say is for everybody who claimed, who cares? It's a chicken shop. If you're now getting mad because they canceled, it's called standards, man. Me, I really don't care. What I care about is the principle and the spinelessness, right? If Chick-fil-A wants to donate to like, I don't know, a clown college, I'm not going to complain about it. Nobody talks about Wendy's or Taco Bell. I'm certainly not going to care what Chick-fil-A is doing. In fact, I'm telling you this right now, As soon as I'm done recording, I'm going to Chick-fil-A. Whenever I do these stories, I always do. But listen, Chick-fil-A has been under fire. Their shops, uh, one shop got shut down because of the protests. They had constant protests. And they finally said, maybe if we just give in to the far left and give them what they want, they'll leave us alone. And they didn't. And anyone with with, with, with a morsel of brain matter could have told you this would happen. Here's the story from The Blaze. Surprise, Chick-fil-O CEO Dan Cathy says he regrets discrediting faith-based organizations after cutting charitable donations. And now we can see quite literally a day later, they have to sue an airport because they are still being pushed out. You accomplished nothing, Chick-fil-A. Do not apologize. Do not bend the knee. You will regret it. Let's read. The Blaze reports, Chick-fil-A CEO Dan Cathy said he regrets discrediting faith-based organizations. In November, Chick-fil-A announced that it would no longer be donating to the Salvation Army and other operations that some people consider to be anti-LGBTQ. What are the details? In a letter to the the American Family Association, Tim Wildman, Kathy expressed regrets of Chick-fil-A pulling funding from a variety of faith-based organizations. Wildman had written Kathy with his concerns about yanking funding to Christian groups. One of Wildman's questions read, will Chick-fil-A publicly state that it does not believe the Salvation Army and FCA that's, I think that's the, the, the Christians Association or something, are hate groups because of the ministry's belief about sexuality, marriage, and family. A December AFA petition that garnered more than 100,000 signatures prompted Wildman to write a strong letter to Kathy about reconsidering the company's new given structure. Kathy responded to the letter by saying that he'd inadvertently discredited several outstanding organizations and insisted that the company never intended to make a statement or support a political or social agenda. They, the, the letter went on to draw praise. We get it. But now that you want, you know, look, I want to read you this story. This is from News 4 San Antonio. A lawsuit against the city of San Antonio for banning a popular fast food restaurant at the airport is moving forward. District Judge David Canales ruled Friday against the city's motion to dismiss the lawsuit. Not only is the city actively blocking Chick-fil-A from opening a restaurant in public space, which they're not legally allowed to do because they're doing it for religious reasons, for, for ideological and religious reasons. They're actively trying to stop them from fighting back. They're trying to get the lawsuit dismissed. Well, they're losing. Chick-fil-A, if you want to open a restaurant, this is how you do it. 
you fight back and refuse to bend the knee. San Antonio City, San Antonio City Council voted on March 21 to remove Chick-fil-A from the San Antonio International Airport after the popular fast food chain came under fire for donating some $1.8 million to groups that discriminated against the LGBTQ community. Six council members voted in favor of the agreement, while four others voiced their opposition. Quote, we're disappointed with the outcome of the hearing and will evaluate our legal options going forward, said First Assistant City Attorney Liz Provencio. We maintain that the city did nothing wrong and certainly did not violate any law, and we will continue to vigorously defend the city's interests. You know, it's funny. They say it's an anti-LGBTQ group. The CEO says, I never intended to make a message. Listen, you did. You did, Chick-fil-A. They said, we're going to focus our donations now on organizations that help the homeless and those in need. And Salvation Army was like, uh, right here, buddy. You were donating to us in the first place. If that's what you're looking to support, why aren't you supporting us anymore? Now, I'm not a fan of any of these organizations. I know very little about the FCA or AFA or whatever, nor do I care. Chick-fil-A is playing politics and they failed because they lack a spine. And you know what? You reap what you sow. Good, good. I'm still going to eat there because I don't care. I'm not going to let politics get in the way of a tasty chicken sandwich. Although I hear Popeye's is better. The San Antonio, Fam- San Antonio Family Association filed a lawsuit September 9th under the new law known as the Save Chick-fil-A Bill that prohibits the government from discriminating against anyone who donates to, affiliates with, or supports a religious organization. Quote, any vendor that attempts to occupy this space should be on notice, said plaintiff Patrick Von Dolan. The city's efforts to replace Chick-fil-A violate state law, and we are suing to stop this from happening. Any vendor that tries to replace Chick-fil-A could soon be facing an injunction that prevents them from operating. I mean, I'm pretty sure this violates the First Amendment. The city can't tell a chicken restaurant that because they've donated at some point to a religious organization, we're banning you. The city of San Antonio approved the food, beverage, and retail prime concession agreement with uh, Paradis with Paradis Lager Deer at the San Antonio International Airport, but the agreement excluded Chick-fil-A. With this decision, the city council reaffirmed the work our city has done to become a champion of equality and inclusion. Ah, and there it is. San Antonio is a city full of compassion, and we do not have room in our public facilities for a business with a legacy of anti-LGBTQ behavior. Full stop. That right there is based on religious affiliation and is a violation, as far as I can tell, of the Constitution. Everyone has a place here, and everyone should feel welcome when they walk through our airport. I look forward to the announcement of a suitable replacement by Paredes. Chick-fil-A is a chicken restaurant. Chick-fil-A does not actively discriminate. The owners might, the corporate might make, might make donations to organizations who might then discriminate. But that is such an insane leap. They are accusing Chick-fil-A of wrongdoing, and Chick-fil-A pulled their own spine out of their back and handed it straight to the woke leftists who will not back down, who will immediately say, bow more, you're not bowing hard enough. You know what, man? They deserve it. They really, really do. Chick-fil-A said the vote banning the restaurant from the airport was disappointing, and the company hoped for more dialogue with the city. Texas Attorney General Caxton filed a request March 28th seeking calendars, Records of council member meetings regarding the contract and any internal communications among the city employees about the inclusion or exclusion of Chick-fil-A from the concessionaire contract. The decision to discriminate against any vendor based on religious beliefs associated with the company and its owners flies in the face of the Constitution and Texas law. Hear, hear, Paxton said in a release. I look forward to reviewing the city of San Antonio's records, explaining why the city council targeted this respected restaurant chain for exclusion from the city's concessionaire contract from the international airport. Texas Senator Ted Cruz called San Antonio's decision to ban Chick-fil-A from the airport ridiculous and not Texas. The controversial seven-year agreement will generate at least 2.1 million. And I will tell you this. You know, they say the, 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 the left says, you know, we support the First Amendment. You know, freedom of speech doesn't mean freedom from consequence. Quite literally right now, they banned a chicken shop who has not discriminated, who donated to a nonprofit, who may have or may not, totally unrelated, discriminated. The point is, this restaurant has done nothing. And it is being banned due to affiliation with a nonprofit that holds values they don't like. This not only flies in the face of the First Amendment, but common decency. We, 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 we can't punish businesses because they've donated to nonprofit. They donate to other businesses. Nonprofits are businesses who operate as, you know what? Imagine the, the, the insane purity testing that's going on. I'll say this for shame, Chick-fil-A. 
And I, and I don't think I'm alone when I say for shame. You were warned. You could have asked 10. You could have asked any, anyone, any one person. You could have asked any one person. They would have told you, if you do this, it will backfire. It will backfire. They will never support you. And you will come to regret this decision. And guess what? Chick-fil-A did. You reap what you sow and you deserve it. You bend over backwards for these people. And this is what you get. I got one more segment coming up in a few minutes. Stick around. I will see you all shortly.